Hola! So today we're going to be doing Spanish conjugations in the present tense and just for regular verbs. There's also going to be irregular conjugations in the present tense, but we're not going to go into that today. So, the formula for conjugating verbs in the present tense is the verb minus its AR, ER, or IR ending and then add the ending in whatever form you're trying to conjugate it in. That may be a bit confusing, so here's an example. So we're trying to conjugate the verb comer in the yo form. So look up at the formula. We're going to do comer minus the ar, ir, or er. So it's just going to be left with comb because we took the er off, so it's just comb. And then we're adding the ending in the yo form because we're con trying to conjugate it in the O form. And in this case, it's going to be O. So we add comb plus O, and we're gonna get coma. And that's comer in the O form. Pretty easy. So how do we know what the ending is? This is what this is for. Um, so the ending for IR slash ER verbs in the O form is gonna be O. In the two form, it's going to be ace. In el e a usted, it's going to be a. In nosotros, it's going to be hemos or imos. It's going to be hemos in the er form and imos in the ir form. And then for ellos e a ustedes, it's going to be m. Then for ar verbs, for yo, it's going to be o. For tu, it's going to be as. For el e a usted, it's going to be a. For nosotros, it's going to be amos, and for ellas, ellos, ustedes, it's going to be on. So these are our endings. You must know this. You'll probably memorize it at some point, but these are very important. You will be using this constantly. So let's do some practice. We are going to try and conjugate nadar in the yo form for this first one, because it's yo blank in El Lago, I swim in the lake. But how are we gonna say swim? That's what Nadar is. So, thinking back to our formula here, if we're gonna do Nadar, we're gonna subtract the AR from Nadar, so we're gonna be left with Nod, and then we're gonna add the ending in the Yo form, and it's an AR verb. So, Yo, it's O, so we have Nod plus O, that's going to be Nado, Yo Nado in El Lago. Now we're going to try and conjugate visitar in the two form. So, visitar minus its ending, the AR is visit. And then the ending for two is as in the AR form. So, visit plus us is visitas, tu visitas tu mama. You visit your mom. All right, now we're gonna do mirar in the a form. Uh, so mirar minus the ar is just gonna be mir, and then the ending for the a form. Again, this is also el and usted. They're all in the same category. That's just gonna be a. So ella, Mira, Gossip Girl. Sadly, she probably can't because they just took it off of Netflix, but she watches Gossip Girl. All right, now we're gonna conjugate estudiar in the nosotros form. So we're gonna take off the AR at the end of estudiar. So we're gonna be left with estudi, estudi. And then the ending for AR verbs in the nosotros form is amos. So estudi plus amos, we're gonna get estudiamos. Nosotros estudiamos español. We study Spanish. All right, and last one for the AR verbs. Ustedes and trabajar. So trabajar in the ustedes form. So we're gonna take off the AR and we're just gonna be left with Trabach, trabach, 
And then the ending for ustedes, again, it's the same as ellos or ellas. They're all in the same group. And that's going to be on. So, trabajo plus on. We're going to get trabajan. Ustedes no trabajan en lunes. They don't work on Monday. And that's it. Now for ER and IR verbs. So we're going to conjugate escribir in the yo form. So escribir, take away the IR, is it's just gonna be escrib. And then the ending for ER slash IR verbs in the yo form. Let's go back. It's gonna be O. Remember this chart, just get a good glimpse at it. Okay, so it's going to be escribe plus o, escribo. So it's yo escribo in mi clase de inglés. I write in my English class. All right, now we're going to do comer in the to form. So we're going to take away the er from comer, and we're going to add the ending for a two, and that is going to be es. So Tu comes el pizza. You eat the pizza. See? Easy. We got this. All right. We're going to do vivir in the ella form. See, this is where it gets a bit confusing sometimes because the ella is behind the verb. But we still know it's going to be ella. There will always be some sort of context clue during conjugation. So just look for that and it'll tell you what form to do it in. So we're doing a here. Again, it's the same as el and usted because they're all together. So the ending for that is just going to be a. So we have vive because we took away the ir at the end of vivir and then a. So sorry about that. That's a bit of a typo there, but it's just going to be vive. So donde vive ella? Where does she live? All right, then we're going to do discutir in the nosotros form. So we're going to take away the IR and we're just going to be left with discut. <laughs> and then the ending for nosotros, again, this is an IR. And remember the ER and the IR, this is the only one where they're different. ER is amos, IR is emos. So we're going to get the, the scoot plus the emos, discutimos. Nosotros discutimos in clase. We discuss in class. All right, and then last one, we're going to conjugate comprender in the ustedes form. So we're going to take away the er and we're just going to be left with comprende. Comprend. <laughs> and then the ending for ustedes is going to be n. So, comprend, and then en, comprenden. Ustedes no comprenden la maestra. They don't understand the teacher. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope this helped a bit with your conjugation. You're going to get the hang of it. It's going to become natural over time. So don't worry about it. Just practice. Try speaking Spanish in your daily life, and it'll start really kicking in there.